Hi guys, so I'm back with a super secret giveaway. <laughs> the people in this giveaway don't even know they're in the giveaway. And what I've done is, you would have seen last week, I posted a video showing this little basket of vintage slides. They're mostly fashion related. And I decided to give a pack of 10 away. So I put these in my Etsy shop in packs of 10. Um, they're already in there if you're interested. And I decided to give a pack of 10 to the people that commented on that video. So the video had about 100 views, I think, and um, but only 14 people commented. So sorry if you watched the video, I can't put you in the draw because you didn't comment. So those that commented are in the draw. And the 14... I'll just explain why I do these sneaky giveaways. And it's because... I have said it before, I don't want to put giveaway in the title of my videos that will attract new subscribers just because there's a giveaway and then they never watch another video again. They may, but I don't want to get subscribers just um, by doing giveaways. I want, um, I want real subscribers that <laughs> subscribe because they're interested in what I post, as boring as it may be. but. I like, um, I like to reward the real subscribers that are here for a reason, not just because there's a giveaway. So, um, yeah, if you watch the video, sorry, I can't put you in, you didn't comment, but um, thank you for watching anyway. But yeah, I, I just want my subscriber numbers to grow by, you know, naturally, because somebody finds my channel and they like the content even though I haven't posted a lot of crafty stuff lately, sorry. I am back in my craft room now, so you should see some videos soon. Okay, so the little 14 people are... Oh, and by the way, not all 14 may be the type of crafters that would use these in journals or anything. So um, if somebody... If I draw somebody that wins, if it's not something that you want or you'll use... Um, yeah, don't worry. You can just nominate someone else on the list that you would like me to send it to for you. Okay, so those 14 people are... One. Oh, and these aren't in order of how the comments came in. I just wrote them down this morning and I triple checked them because last time I apparently left somebody off. Sorry, Karina. But I did make her the fourth winner, so she got a little prize as well. Okay, so... Number one is Rayleigh from Crafts from the Dungeon. Oh, I've been telling everyone crafts from my dungeon. Sorry, Rayleigh. I don't know if that makes a difference when you search on YouTube. Uh, number two is Krista, Second Chance Creations. Three, Uni Desiree. Four, AK Fielding at Trahan's Treasure Studios. And that's Angelina. And five is Ginny at Brave Blue Raven Art and Craft. Six. Okay, I've been saying Peugeot Blues, but uh, she did pronounce her name on a video a couple of weeks ago just for me. And the J is pronounced an I, so it's Perio. Sorry, I don't have your accent. But, um, and I've been pronouncing it wrong for like eight months or something. Sorry. Number seven is Wendy Mason. Eight is Hilly at Rider's Rain. Nine is... Tony from Kitty's Craft Australia. 10 is Chrissy Phillips. 11 is Grace at Crafty Stuff. 12 is <laughs> 12 is the funny Debbie Brown. Oh my gosh, Debbie, you are too funny. Um, yeah, Debbie cracks me up. She says the funniest little things. I'm going to put the link to her channel below. She's nearing 200 subbies now. And, um, yeah, go check her out. She's so funny. I love the little funny comments she drops in a no normal conversation <laughs> without missing a beat. And I don't think she realises how funny she is. But, yeah, Debbie, you're just so funny. Uh, number 13 is Space Badger 21. <laughs> now, that's my friend James. You may have heard me comment... A few times about James in videos. I do love to um I'm Aussie and we say shit stir. I do like to shit stir him a bit. And um James is over in Idaho, USA. 
he's not even a crafter he just like watches and comments on my videos to support me thank you james he's um a comic computer and game gaming nerd um he's the one that you would have heard in one of my videos that he adopted a wombat and um he forgot his name so i deliberately didn't tell him alfred's name for years like maybe four or five years i don't know it was quite some time and i held out but i dropped his name in a video just for you put you out of your misery james don't forget alfred's name now james i only put you in there because you did comment but if you win i'm going to i just want to see if you're lucky if you win i'm going to scratch you off <laughs> and redraw someone Okay, and number 14 is Cheeky Sue Freeman. Okay, we'll do the bingo draw again. Oh, for the record, the six is the one with the little dot down the bottom. So six is Perio. And the nine is the one with no dot. And nine is Tony Williams. Okay. Oh, would have helped if I brought something to put these in. I'm always so unprepared. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> James. You may recognize this, James. Okay, this is um James actually sent me a box full of treats. Because I'm because I'm not fat enough. I need you to send me lollies all the way from America. Okay, and by the way, these are the best. Mike and Ike. Um Sours. Yeah, I wish we had these in Australia. Actually, I'm glad we don't because I would be eating them all the time. They're so good. They're so yummy. I ate them like in a couple of hours. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I kept going back and sneaking another one. Oops. Okay. Stop talking. Let's get these babies in. I love how they try and make them sound so, you know, fat-free, gluten-free, naturally, and, oh no, they put artificially flavoured. At least they're honest about that. Okay. Sorry, that's probably loud. Okay, let's see who the little winner is. Is number six. Oh! Okay, Pirio. You are the winner. Number six. So I actually have your address, but I will double check with you in case you've moved because I think I've had your address from quite some time ago. And that's actually lucky because I have put aside a few things for you anyway <laughs> um, for a happy mail. But, you know, my happy mails are so slow to get out. But, um, Yes, I'm so happy that you won because I really know that you will um, do something with these. I, I really am um, excited to see how you decorate them, actually. Um, yeah, I bet, I bet you're going to use beautiful old fabric and lace. I love the, the fabric and laces that you find. Okay, so thank you everyone for commenting and... Uh, watching the video and supporting my little boring channel i will have some crafty stuff um videos over the next couple of days because i yay i am back in my craft room at long last and i've got a few videos um a few projects that are almost completed and a few ones that i've also started so wendy mason if you saw wendy's challenge for last for this month i'll put the link in the comments box below i sent her some glass um stars and i felt really bad because i thought it was such a hard tricky um challenge to give her and so i said oh i'll do the challenge with you this month because i did end up finding some spares i had another little bundle tucked away in, a, in that drawer so um 
out of guilt, I decided to do the challenge with Wendy. But then, um, yeah, 10 minutes later, Wendy's like, that's three down, starting on my fourth. And I'm like, oh, Wendy, she comes up with a use for everything. It doesn't matter how tricky it is. So now, yep, I need to get cracking and finish that. I have started it. And um, I won't tell you what I'm doing, but I did take to them with a hammer. <laughs> so anyway, I, I will have that hopefully done in the next couple of days there's some drying times involved so it, it may be a little delayed um, and i've got a few other projects that i will show you as well over the next few days and um thanks for watching and supporting my little channel bye